All right, you've made it back for the seventh edition of uh, the of my videos here that I have for you. So we're gonna again follow along with balance, speed, strength, and a core exercise. We're gonna use the simple equipment of cones and a wobble board again for this session. So the first exercise we're gonna do is with balance. So you, the last video we showed squatting on a wobble board or uh, um, a, a piece of equipment that has a little bit of uh, balance uh, component to it. So what I'm gonna do is have the same exercise with the squats, but now we're gonna have my partner uh, basically give me taps. The big thing with kids on this is when you allow them to give a little tap on a shoulder or a knee or an elbow, um, generally some kids will take it as an opportunity to give their partner a really big push. They want to be focused and you want to ensure that the kids are doing the drill properly so that they're taking it seriously so that there's there's some training and some good effect that's going on. So I'm on my wobble board and I get myself all set and I go into a, a balanced squat position. I don't have to go all the way down for this one. I want to just get into a position where I'm fighting it. My partner then comes up and they will give me little taps on the elbow or the shoulder or the knee. And they're just trying to push you a little bit off balance and you have to fight it and resist. The partner could be nice and active and run around and push you from different parts of your body and from different angles. So they're behind you, they're in front of you. <laughs> As you can see, go behind me again. If someone pushes from the shoulder down, that is a lot of, uh, that's a really tough one. So they want to be more upright, more side to side, and you can see them coming. There we go. And then fighting. But if they're behind you and they're pushing down, most people will lose balance. There. So that's the first exercise. And again, it's a nice challenge. It's lots of fun. The second drill we're going to do is similar to the first drill we did yesterday with the cones where we did a figure eight. Now we're going to use a triangle. So same drill in that you have your partner uh, is going to be in uh, as a leader and you're the follower and you'd go for your 30 seconds and then you will switch roles. The follower becomes the leader, the leader becomes the follower. So you're going to go up, back, side to side, up, back. So you have the movements of forwards, backwards, side to side, and the person can go to any of these cones. So as you can see, a lot of good quick first step movements, a lot of changing of directions, a lot of picking the feet up very quickly. It's an excellent drill for many multi-sports from soccer to uh, baseball to hockey to tennis. Excellent drill when you're working with partners. The next drill we're going to do is with strength. We're going to use the wobble board again. So we're going to now do push-ups. So the secret but the trick with using uh, balance boards or any type of stability, instability surface for push-ups is again, nice flat hands, nice and wide, and you have to be directly over top of your shoulders here. If you're leaning out in any way, you're gonna put a lot of stress on the shoulder joints. So you wanna be right over top. And now you're going to do your push-up and push back up. If you want, you can change it up a little and try and wobble it as you come down on purpose. So this one can go up and down and side to side. Just by wobbling, just by wobbling on purpose, it kind of allows the muscles or forces the muscles to adapt. It also gets all the muscles in the area that you're working on, in this case, your chest, your shoulders, your triceps, in your push-up uh, to work even harder. So that's your strength. The final exercise we're going to do is core, and a basic core that we're going to do is bicycles. So the bicycle sit-up. With this one, you want your knees, legs to be nice up in the air at 90 degree position. And in doing so with this, as you're pulling in the bicycles, you're going opposite leg. And what do you want to do, or what I try and emphasize, is the elbow has to go to the outside and then switch and then elbow opposite elbow to the opposite knee on the outside if you're going to the inside there's no rotation of the core at all so you want to go on the outside to the outside well, i also emphasize 
slow movement. If they go fast, kids generally try to whip off 20 in a row real fast. And all they're doing is like a dead bug. So what they want, what you want is nice and slow. Reach and then move. Reach and then move. There we go. All right. So those are four more exercises for you. I hope you can use them in your warm-ups or in your lessons or in your daily physical practice with your uh, classes. Again, please check out my blogs on simpleexerciseforkids.com and my books that are on the web page as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in episode eight.